Hey guys, Random Racer here. How's it going, guys? Got another video for you guys today, and um, it's a bit of an odd video, but it's on a binder. And I know you guys are like, "What the hell is just a binder?" Well, for a few reasons. First reason, I found this in the basement; has never been used, and it is from 1984, made in the United States by a company called Hallmark Cards, which are still around making Christmas cards, birthday cards, etc. But um, what really intrigues me is the fact that how durable this binder is and how well they made them back then. For one, it's made in the United States, not China. Second, I could barely bend this. Like, you know, like most binders, you can easily just snap, you know, over and stuff like that. But this thing is a tank and um, it would take, you can bend this, but it would take some effort to actually do that. And I'm just really amazed about the quality actually put into this um, other than the fact that it's kind of ugly looking but um, it is a real binder not like a photo album or anything like that uh, um, this is all the stuff that came inside it here's the front it's called a total organizer and you can tell by the color of the paper it is uh, been sitting around for a very long time um, so yeah yeah very long time but uh, you also got some stickers with it that aren't really sticking anymore as you can see and it just says like taxes, education, your date, personal documents. So this was more of an organizer than a binder for school, which I'm going to test it out. You also get these folders, dividers I can uh, put stuff in. You, basically your average um, kind of organizer divider thing. And uh, another cool thing you get with it is for some reason you get graph paper. Aged graph paper actually. And, um, they're pretty thick, but, uh, whether I will use these, probably not, just because of the color and how aged they are, and, yeah, but who knows, might use them. But, yeah, you get a bunch of graph paper for some reason, and, um, they're all pretty, uh, aged, obviously. I think the last thing you get is, um, these, uh, I don't even what you call them. I think you use these for photo albums, you know, just... Put your uh, picture under there and then put the plastic over. But uh, this surprisingly, if glue still works under there, it's still adhesive. But um, yeah, you can tell they're very aged as well. But um, for those of you who are wondering what happens to paper after 20 years, that's the color they turn into. Anyways, back to the binder. The thing I like about this binder it has a really nice vinyl finish on the top. Not that crappy plastic that they put over it. But it's actual vinyls and glued on, and this thing will take a beating to actually uh, break and wear out and stuff. But, um, yeah, basically the main thing about this video is how durable they made stuff back then, uh, especially at least for a binder. And um, the thing I do notice with most binders I buy for school these days is um, I had to use both handles to make the uh, rings pop out. But in this case, I can just use one hand. To pop the whole thing out, and this thing is a tank. Um, anyways, yeah, the binders I buy for school from Staples, it costs like six bucks, which is kind of expensive for a binder, but um, yeah. Anyways, just wanted to share this with you guys. I know it's just a binder, but um, just wanted to show you guys uh, about how how um, durable companies can make their stuff, and that's what they're lacking most of the time these days, whether it's a binder or any other everyday thing. Um, only problem I'm having with this case right now is closing it. Just because the paper kind of, as you can see, goes underneath. Most binders these days have the rings on the bottom uh, edge, not on uh, this part. Or, wait, dude. Actually, just one second. Here's a new binder. Oh, never mind. Forget about that fact. But, uh, I don't know. I just have trouble closing it sometimes. But, yeah. Anyways, um, here's the sides. And here's the bottom, pretty much identical. Um, yeah, it's a bit ugly looking, but I don't know, it's, looks, it's kind of cool in my opinion. And um, paper inside's also faded a bit. And um, yeah, it's a really cool durable binder that it'd be kind of cool if they made stuff this durable uh, these days. Because this thing would have definitely lost in me the five, four to five years through high school. But uh, yeah, in my last year right now, so I'll probably use this in university or college this fall. Anyways, guys, uh, this is my environmental studies stuff class. 
yeah, a lot of paper, a lot of stuff. Uh, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just wanted to share this with you guys. It's kind of cool how durable uh, stuff was made back then. Um, you know, a few things are still pretty nice uh, today, but um, they definitely don't make binders like this. At least that not have ice that I haven't seen at Staples, at least. But um, it's pretty cool. Vinyl, vinyl finish and stiff, very stiff rubber that you can barely bend. Not even kidding. Again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. A peace.